Hey middle schoolers, so here is our lesson on Zentangle Landscapes. It is for Wednesday, May 20th, but as you know, do it when you can. We are going to work to use patterns and designs to create non-traditional landscapes. Some materials you are going to need. Pencil, pen, whatever drawing tools you want to use, um, and some art terms I'll probably be talking about. Landscape, patterns, and unity, how everything comes together for your image. All right, middle schoolers, so you're going to start by planning your design. I'm going to ask you to use like five to eight different lines. And remember, we're making a landscape, so we want them to be like nice, organic, wavy lines. They don't need to be like perfect in any way, right? Things from nature are not perfect anyways. You just want to be creating spaces for yourself and these kind of like rolling hills that are going to have for our landscape. So one, two, three, four, I've already made four. This is looking a little too patterny for me, so maybe I'm gonna pull like a big wave all the way over here. That's five. And maybe I'll just do like one-ish more up here. Cause I wanna have like some nice sky space. So I wanna leave this, maybe like another tiny one over there. Okay, so step number one is plan your design. Use whatever tool you'd like to make wavy lines for the base of the hills of your landscape. Okay, so here you can see me drawing super duper fast. Um, you can fill your spaces with all different kinds of patterns. I was looking at some references on the computer of ideas, but also you can look like around your house. I'm sure there's different kinds of patterns in nature and other things that you can be looking at. Um, I did two here because I decided that I was going to fill all the spaces and I made a decision that it looked like there needed to be way more black on this page. So I added in more black spaces and filled up the large spaces with different kinds of designs. You want to be varying in your designs in terms of size and spacing. If you want to use color, go for it. You know, that's not my style. Um, but I will show you something with color and background on the next slide. So kids, if you want to use color pencils, markers, whatever you'd like to color these, you may. I want to show you if you want to use markers to like make watercolor, you can color on the inside of like a dish like this. I just got like a glass dish here and I wanted to use red, orange, yellow, maybe a little bit of purple. You can then go ahead and dip a brush in a little bit of water and then pick up that color got like a yellow orange mix right now I'll grab a little bit more water pick up that color and then you can use this to paint like watercolor just like we do in class so if you are thinking hey i'm out of i don't have any paint at home uh if you have markers you totally do so you're welcome to use paint or anything else that works for you for painting your zentangle landscape middle schoolers that is it that's our lesson on zentangle landscapes i wanted to leave you with this quote there are no mistakes in zentangle so if there's a need for an eraser or if you do not like the look of the stroke you have made it then becomes only an opportunity to create a new tangle or transform it using an old trusty pattern so trust yourself right if you do feel like you make a mistake change it into something that you think you like and that can look great on your zentangle right the whole idea behind zentangles are that they like calm you down and chill you out so if you're feeling like you got some high strung stress in your life right now definitely do this lesson it will help you out see you next week